Hey, what's up to this? You know, I have an older Zeus EPC lying around, but it's getting a little old and out of date. So I thought, just why not install Linux on it? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we go, we're on the laptop. So, I got a nice USB drive, 32 gigs, that I put Debian 12 onto, as it still has a 32-bit version. So we're going to plug it into the computer, turn it on, and spam that escape key. I'm also going to remove the light as well. Now we're going to boot into the sand, sand disk. And we're going to go graphical install. Alright, here we go. We're in the installer. So, I'm going to click on the continue button. And go United Kingdom. I, I'm actually just going to use my keyboard. Yup. And, alright, here we go. I'm just going to go um, and plug in a mouse. Hold up. All right, I just stole a mouse, and we're going to be plugging it in here. This is even that is a USB port. Hey, this is working. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to wait for this, and I'll be right back. Auto configuration failed. Gonna try it again. Retry network auto configuration. Um, I don't think it's picking up my Wi Fi card in here. If I need to run an extremely long Ethernet cable, then I will. I'll actually go grab that because I think I might need it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, and I'm back with an Ethernet cable. It's currently connected to my network switch across the room. So yeah, let's plug it in. And we got a light. That's great. So we're going to retry network configuration. Network auto configuration has succeeded. Wow, okay. Enter the host name for the system. We're just going to go EPC901. Enter. Domain name home. That's fine. Um, root password. We're just going to go root. Root. Full name for the new user will be whale. Whale770. 770. A. A. Continue. Yep, I right, configure the clock. I think it's going to configure the clock automatically. So detect disks. Time to do some partitioning work. That was a bit loud. A few moments later. All right, we're in the partitioning menu. So I'm just going to go manual here and delete this partition. Um, now we're going to create a new partition. Um, let's just go maximum, primary and go yes root done and that looks good this this disc right here i'm gonna just repurpose that for something i know so oh flip i finish partitioning um you have not selected any partition for use for swap i do not want to return to the partitioning menu uh yeah right changes to disc all right partition formatting all right so i'm just gonna leave it to do its thing and I'm going to zoom in the camera and I will be catching up with you when it's all done. Roll the time lapse! Here we go, we are in. Finally, it's done. That took about an hour. 
now we're so let's go whale a oh i think i might need my username there we go let's try it again i would probably much rather like to use sddm but hey whatever we are loading up all right here we go we're in this is um xfc we can click around and do things and yeah i'd say this is actually working we can go switch between virtual desktops and such so i'm just gonna do some customizations around here editor speed this up leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and if you have something to say leave a comment i'll see you guys later bye all right so i just did a bit of off camera work and just changed my sources.list to upgrade to debian testing instead of stable and that's exactly what the computer is doing right now it's currently upgrading from debian stable to testing so i'm gonna plug it in and just wait for the upgrade to complete all right so i'm editing right now and i just realized that i did not record a proper outro after this clip of me upgrading to debian testing so i'm gonna record one right now so if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye